Hello? Hey, Ronald? Yeah? It's it's Steve Dave from Two Green. We accidentally treated your lawn over the weekend. I'm just calling to apologize. Sorry about that. Oh, you you treated it over the weekend? Yeah, well, we didn't treat it exactly. We we injected a bunch of seeds into the lawn. Oh, okay, because I didn't see any flags up or anything. Oh, no, we wouldn't do that. Not for just the seeds, because there's no chemicals. Yeah, we, we just uh, we did the front and the back and the sides. We injected seeds into every bit of your lawn. Oh, okay. For dandelions. Oh, okay, because I, I did start seeing some of those pop up. Oh, the dandelions? Yeah, I mean, not not just since uh, I guess you treated it. Mm-hmm. You, you treated it when? Uh, that would have been over the weekend. I think the truck came out e- either on Saturday or Sunday. But you're going to have thousands oh. of dandelions. We, we planted just thousands of them all over the lawn. You what? We planted thousands of dandelions in your lawn. Dandelion? Yeah, the yellow ones. You planted them? Yeah, it's it's like a new thing. They're kind of making a comeback. People are doing their whole lawns and just dandelions now. And your neighbor was getting that done, but we got the wrong address, so we accidentally did yours. So sorry about that. We won't charge you, though. So I'm going to see a bunch of dandelions in my yard now? Yeah, probably more dandelions than grass. Okay, well, we need to fix that. Oh, no, no, it, that that is fixed when you think about it, because... Uh, dandelions are better for for your lawn than grass is. It's better for the earth in general. They use up less water, and they have. Vi- and they're yellow all over the lawn. Yeah, yeah, it'll look better than the green. It's like little yellow dots all over the. But th- this is going to be more like just a yellow blob. It's going to be nothing but yellow, with a little bit of green. I don't want that. That's not what I want. Well, I you- want all solid green. Well, have you ever tried having just dandelions out there before? I don't want to try it. Well, you don't know if you don't want it if you haven't experienced it yet. Like, if you just give it another... I don't like yellow dandelions, period. Sir. That's why I spray my lawn. When I see one pop up, I want a nice, completely green lawn. Okay, well, don't... I go out to guys, I go to other areas, and I see their lawns. I don't see a dandelion yard i don't want that i want it all green okay well if you'll just give it a couple more weeks you're gonna see what it looks like it's gonna look amazing it's gonna look i'm telling you i don't care what it looks like i don't want it i want them killed right now if you planted them kill them before they come up but you won't have to spray anymore because you'll just have dandelions and no grass the dandelions will overtake the grass Are are you let me ask you something are you not hearing me no, I hear I you. Not, it, just, it sounds like okay. I don't want dandelions. I don't care how nice it looks. Whether I have to spray anymore, whether I have to do anything, I do not want dandelions in my yard. What about the little bumblebees? They love dandelions. I don't care about them. We'll see. Listen that's... to what I'm saying. Get rid of them. I want them gone. I don't want them coming up. If Sir... they come up out here, I'm going to sue you. No, you can't sue us just over dandelions. It's. It... I can sue you because you came out here without my permission. And you put dandelions in my yard. Yeah, but I explained. I explained that it was just an accident. We just got the wrong address. Okay, fix it you, then. You know they're not weeds, though, right? They're they're from the same family as sunflowers. Fix it. I don't want them. You don't like sunflowers? No, I don't. I don't want dandelions. I don't want sunflowers. I want solid green grass. It's the last time I'm telling you this. You sound like that guy from the Sam I Am story. You know, the green eggs and am. I, I do not want Well, I dandelion. don't care who I sound like. Don't compare me to anybody else. Okay. Well, you call I, me, tell me you planted dandelions. I want it fixed. I want it done. Get rid of them. I don't want them. The green part of the dandelion, you can actually eat it for vitamin K and vitamin A. They're, they're a money saver. You're still trying to talk me into it. I'm not going to be talked into it. Yeah. I want them killed. I don't want dandelions in my yard. Sir, at this, period. at this point, you don't have much choice. I already planted them, so they're going to show up. Well, then you better get something out here to kill them real quick. You better bring out the strongest stuff you have to cure to kill dandelions. Well, then your lawn's just going to be dirt. 
It better not be because then I will definitely take you to court. Oh, so you're I'm just... taking pictures right now. I'm going to take pictures right now. When these come up, I'll take more pictures if they do. And then uh, if it turns to dirt, I'm going to take more pictures. Then we'll see each other in court. We'll see what so happens there. You're being a little racist, to be honest. No, I'm not. If I came out there and planted a bunch of weeds or whatever you call it. They're not weeds. If I come out and planted a bunch of stuff in your lawn that you didn't want, you wouldn't be happy. And I'm not happy right now. Okay, but no, I'm just saying you're being a little racist about the whole thing. Racist, okay? I'm not saying anything about racist. Oh, no, no. It's just just because the name dandelion is taken from the French word dent de lion, which meaning the lion's tooth, you know, because of the... Listen, the course I don't need a I don't need a lecture here. I'm telling you, I don't want them in my yard. But they're pretty. You better, get out here. you better get out here and take care of it. If I start seeing a bunch of these pop up in my yard, oh, you will. You're not going to be real happy with it. Oh boy, it. There, there's going to be your there's going to be thousands upon thousands of them. Can I just call you back in a week and see if you've changed your mind? I'm not changing my mind. Don't you get it? I'm telling you right now, I don't like them. You don't like them? I'm not them. changing my mind. You don't like them on I'm a train? I'm telling you right now. You do not like them in the rain. You will not have dandelions in your yard. I'm trying to think of a, a rhyme for that. I don't need <laughs> rhymes. I don't need your stories. I don't need history. I don't need that. I'm just telling you point blank. Get out here and get rid of them but what, if you plan. What if they just got period. carried into your lawn from uh, from up to five miles away from its origin? Because as you know, dandelion seeds can fly up to five miles from their origin through the wind and just land in your yard. That wouldn't be our fault. No, but I've had my yard treated. I'm taking a picture right now. And since I've talked to you, I hit the record buddy uh, button shit. on my phone. And so this has been recorded, too, Can so I, that you're telling me that you planted all these in my yard. I recorded so also as I well. Suggest, I suggest you get out here and you make this right and get rid of those. If you don't, then we're going to have a big problem. What if we just apply a layer of green spray paint over the dandelion so it looks like grass? Are you a true green Yes, of course. Do you work with... Are you an employee of True Green? Uh, well, I'm more like an independent contractor. But, okay, but I need your name and number. It's, it's like being an Avon lady. Basically, anyone can say they're an Avon lady. They just okay. got to get a, some equipment and some... some, some okay, s- what is your seed, name? And- seed shooters. Uh, my name is Steve Dave. Steve what? Correct. So look, Steve, I, what? So should I just call you back in a couple weeks and see if you've changed your mind then? I'm not. No. What is your last name? Yeah, but you might. Like, you haven't seen it yet. Like, get, get on the internet. I won't change my mind. Just, just get on the internet. Quit asking me to change my mind. I'm not going to. Period. Did you know that if you mow the dandelions, that's just going to make more of them? What's your last name? Gersperms. No, it's it's Dave, Steve, Dave, Dave, Days, Steve Nurseberm, Nurseberm. Okay. Hyphen Dave. I I did a hyphenated name when I got married. Okay. What is your phone number? It is on your caller ID. It's the three one seven number. So anyway, I'm I'm very oh, sorry. Steve, and- I- I tell you what, you better figure out a way to fix this, because if I start getting dandelions in my yard, you guys, it's going to be hell to pay. Oh, don't be like that. Don't be like that. You know, just... Don't tell me how to be. You don't know me, and I'm not telling you how to be, and you're not telling me how to be. I own a business myself, and if I make a mistake, I fix it. I don't try and talk the customer into it, take it, you know, you'll like it, see how you like it. None of that. Crap. Do you make a lot I'm of mistakes? Not taking it. I'm not taking it. Do you make okay? a do you make either, a, either you fix it, either you fix it, or you will wish you had. Oh, I, I don't respond well to threats, sir. I'm sorry. I, I just 
At this point, I feel okay, I'm well, going to have to hang up. Because I've been trying to be nice to you, and you keep trying to tell me try it, and you'll like it. You're this harassing me. I'm, I, I've been honest, boy, right up front and to the point. I don't want them. I didn't ask for them. I want it fixed. I don't want them here. You should Do ask, your job. Get rid of it. You should ask a friend for their opinion on your new dandelion lawn. I'm not going to ask a friend for my opinion. You don't understand. Well, the, I'm the guy. I don't care what my friend thinks, and I don't care what my neighbors think. Yeah, but this like, is what I want, and it's what I wanted. But if you get like a, a cup of dandelion greens, that's 535 percent of your daily recommended vitamin K, and 112. Listen, you're not listening to me. I don't give a shit about that. You, I don't care about the protein. Or any of that. You can save I money. I don't want dandelions. You don't have period. to. You don't have to go to GNC as often. I don't go to GMC anyway. Do, Get rid of these. Do you go to Walgreens? Period. Do you go to Walgreens for your vitamins? No, I don't. And quit asking me questions about other stuff. I point blank. You get rid of these things that you planted. I don't care how you do it. If my lawn turns completely brown. You guys will wish it hadn't, because I will be oh, taking no. you to court. It's gonna, it's gonna turn yellow, because the dandelions are yellow. You know, up until it's the not gonna turn yellow because we're gonna kill all those. No, don't kill them. They're they're good for the earth. It's better for the earth than your dumb old grass. You're gonna come out and kill the damn thing. Oh do you no! Understand me? Oh, I wouldn't do that. I love dandelions. I don't give a shit what you love. I don't. You're going to come out and kill all these. I don't want any yellow in my yard. Sir, now that's racist. Did you know up until the 1800s, dandelions were seen as... I don't give a shit about history. Quit talking bullshit to me. I told you what I want. I don't want dandelions. Get rid of them. Period. That's it. Don't give me any more bullshit from me. Okay, I was just trying to tell you that back then people would... I don't give a shit. I don't care. They'd remove their grass. I don't care. They'd party like it's 1799. I don't care. I don't want dandelions in my yard. Okay, well, I have good news for you then. This is just a prank call. I'm not really with any lawn company. I don't even live around there. Then why are you calling me? I'm calling from the prank call call center. It's just a, a service we provide. We make prank calls. That's stupid. Well, it's better. At least we didn't plant dandelions in your lawn. What do you get out of this? I mean, do you. Do you... Well, no, it's, it's my job. I work at the prank call call center. Okay, so, why would you. I mean, what do you guys get out of it? You make prank calls, okay? Yeah. You, how do you. Well, it's a, it's a corporate business. It's, it's um, you know, I'm just. I'm in a call center with. About 78 other people. And we're, we just all make prank calls here in our cubicles. So th- that's what, all. I mean, what joy do you get out of that? How does your business survive? Well, it, they don't make any money by making stupid prank calls. It's it's not a joy, really. It's just my job. It's just what I have to do to make money. I mean, it's how just, does the company survive just making stupid prank calls I, that aren't true? Sir, I'm I'm just I'm just an employee. I don't know how the the whole system works. I'm just just doing my job, meeting my quota. This has gone on long enough. You you should have hung up on me by now. But no, you're, yeah, I should have. Yeah, but your your lawn, it's fine. Like we didn't put anything in your lawn. But have you ever thought about getting just dandelions? Have you have you have you ever? had a dream thought about this is kind of a stupid job really what do you do for a I living mean, you, you said you make mistakes I, at your I, job I all the time i own an advertising company that's legitimate yeah and you, i place that you said you're always making mistakes for customers and you don't try and talk them into things when you make mistakes that you always make you said you make mistakes i don't all- i don't always make mistakes i've made a few when you, i do i fix them Period. No, you, you right said you, you said you make them all the time, like so often that that, like. No, I didn't. 
I heard you. No, I, I make a few mistakes here and there, but as I make them and I find out I've made them, I fix them right away. I'm just I saying. I don't let them linger on, and I fix them right then. I think I'm better at my I job. I think I'm better at my job than you are at your job. Okay, good luck. Keep the pranks up. Thank you. <laughs> what a great ending to that call. Keep the pranks up. And I think that guy learned something during that call. Okay, I'm getting a call back. Prank Call Call Center, can I help you? Who is this? Uh, this is Gary. I work here at the Prank Call Call Center. Can I help you? Yeah, Gary. Uh, I just spoke with one of your employees saying that they work for Trugi Kimlon. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's something that they, they do usually um, just on Tuesdays. We have different themes each day of the week. Okay. Well, I'm going to inform True Green that you're using their name, saying that you're an employee of them. Oh, no, an independent uh, contractor. We're very careful about that. We don't say employees. Yeah, an ind- independent contractor, but you're making prank calls for True Green. We, d- we don't want to get sued. No, you, you've got it all wrong, sir. It's, well, it sounds you like, wait and see what happens. You wait and see what happens. Sir, I call them. It, it sounds like you're just looking to make trouble wherever you go. Nope, no, I don't like prank calls to for, begin with. And I was on the phone for about 10 minutes with this guy. I kept trying to talk me into it. I kept telling him, no, 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 fix it. And he didn't do it. Finally, he told me he was from the prank call call center. Prank calls are bullshit. I don't appreciate it. And I don't think True Green would appreciate a company like yours calling people saying that they're representing True Green as an independent contractor. Shut up. Hey, we're just providing a service, sir. Like you don't you don't need to tell us what how to do our What is your tr- service to make prank calls and lie to people? Oh, we're not lying to them. It's a prank call. It's all in good fun. All in good fun. Yeah, just get over it. It's just a you, you said ten minute prank call, right? Just just you know go go now you have a story to tell your family. Like go go tell them about the crazy does call it you got. Make you feel better to make prank calls to people. What if I called and made a prank call and said that your mom was just killed in an accident? Is that a good prank call to you? I would be so surprised that she's still alive. Well, I'm just giving an example. But wow! If I said your wife wow, or your what sister. A... Yeah, if I called and made a prank call like that. Uh, How would you like it? Calls like that are strictly forbidden here, sir. We follow the rules of prank calling. Uh, we never tell people that their relatives are dead or say anything that would actually upset them. We just tell them... Why s- do you call and lie to people? Well, we're not lying. It's a prank call. Sir, uh, it's, it's, it was just some... What do you get out of it, though, for calling people as a prank? It's just our job. That's what we do here at the Prank Call Call Center. Like, that's their, their corporate... Um, how did they get paid by making stupid prank calls? I mean, there's nobody paying for somebody to make a prank call about their business sir, that I know of. Sir, it's just it was just a silly call about yellow flowers. Just just forget it ever happened. It's it's over. You don't have to deal with Sue and True Green now. You're listening to the Snow Show. Boys and fellas on the radio. Since they is working right next door. Why, hello there, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 811, and it's brought to you by the Prime Minister of Australia, Matt Chu, Bad Lad, Cody No Name, and Fun Society Arcade. They support us on the Patreon, and that's what you should do, too, at patreon.com slash phone losers. This is the show where we call people up and we confuse and or anger them. Sometimes we make them cry for good measure. I have a few important announcements. Number one is that there's a brand new Mr. Dabalina show out. You can find that at worldofprankcalls.com. It had been almost a year since I put one of those out, which is crazy, but now there's a new one. Hopefully I'll start keeping up on that again. I just got back from the post office. I dropped off a giant stack of vinyl records and a bunch of coins 
that people have ordered. If you supported the vinyl record on Kickstarter and you still haven't sent your information in to me, you should do that right now so I can get all of the Kickstarter albums out in the mail. Because I think there are maybe like six people left who have not sent in their info to me. So gosh dang it all the heck, please do that. Other than that, I am just fulfilling the orders on Bandcamp of everyone who ordered a vinyl album or some coins. And I got a bunch of those done this weekend, but not as many as I hope to do. But I'll probably get some more done this week, throughout the week. And one of these days I'm going to be caught up. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for that to happen. If any of you would like to buy a vinyl record or a 2023 PLA coin, then you should go to phonelosers.bandcamp.com. Look in the merch section. There's a brand new vinyl record and a brand new set of PLA 2023 coins. If you want to give me more stuff to do, order a vinyl record of prank calls or a coin. I think that's enough announcements for today. Let's do some pranks. Oh, who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? You are listening to Roy on the Snowplow Show. Still stepping in that dog shit every day. Here's a request from Ocular Pat Down. He wants me to call up this guy named Mike, who is a terrible guy in my parents' neighborhood who has an illegal fire pit and plays extremely loud music. Cops are called on him constantly by various people. He recently made a Facebook post basically saying, F the neighborhood, I will do what I want. And he gives me his address and city, maybe claim you're the neighbor in the blue house, tell him to fucking keep the noise down. He's making the neighborhood look like shit. Whatever else you can come up with. Okay, this sounds fun. Hello? Hello, Mike? Yeah. Hey there, it's Steve Dave from T-Mobile. I was calling to let you know we're changing your phone number. The 6675 number. To what? Uh, it's to a new number. I've got the new number here if you'd like to write it down. Why am I getting a new? I don't, I don't want a new phone number. Oh, it's uh, well, it's it's pretty much done at this point. Your number expired um, last last year, so we gave it to the. It's basically a highest bidder type thing. How, like, how do I know this is T-Mobile? I'm not signing or nothing. I'm not agreeing to nothing. Okay, well, you don't have to agree to it. I'm just letting you know that it's happening. And if you want to just call T-Mobile directly, they'll give you your new phone number. Well, how, why am I getting this now? Because somebody outbids you on your phone number, sir. So we're just going to change the phone number. It's not a big deal. You still have service with us. You're just going to have a different phone number. How do I know this is T-Mobile? Sir, I just explained that to you. You don't know it's T-Mobile. I could be a fraudster. Just uh, call T-Mobile, uh, I mean, and then they will let you know that this is for real. Call the real T-Mobile hotline, customer service the line. T-Mobile, oh, I never even heard of a T-Mobile hotline. Sir, you're just trying to be difficult. Do you want your new phone number or not? Do you want to do it the easy way, and uh, I'll just give uh, it to you, or do you want to call back? You can give it to me, but you're not going to talk to me like this. Well, you're being kind of a douche canoe, sir. I'm just trying to do my I'm job here. What? You are being a complete I mean, hold on. a douche canoe, sir. I'm just I'm trying being to a douche canoe. I'm trying to do my job here, and you won't let, right. you won't let me do it. Is, all right, well, hold on. Um, I I'll take down the new number. I want your name, and I hope this is recorded. Oh, it's everything's recorded here. My name is Steve Dave. But how do you know I'm really with T-Mobile? Maybe I'm just some well, guy calling you, and we don't record anything around here. Well, you're 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 calling me names over a recorded line with your fucking logic. And now you're swearing too. Oh yeah, yeah. I called you a douche canoe, and I just said the fucking word. You know what? They have a hard time keeping this place staffed, so I say what I want. You fucking douche canoe. Um, I, I don't believe you. Give me the number. What number? My new number, apparently. Give me it. No, at this point, I've decided I don't want to help you. Like, I think you, know what? you need to just call up T-Mobile, call 611 from your phone. It's real easy. You'll get put on hold for about an hour, and then you can get your phone number. Who, who's your supervisor? Uh, Carol Gersberms. Spell it. I T. I mean, you just called my phone and screaming and harassing me. And, and no, hey, why don't you tell that, at me? sir, tell that bitch in the background just to shut the fuck up. Because, you know, we're trying to have a conversation here and she's back there. Nye, 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 nye. 
Tell her to shut up. What did you just say, you motherfucker? I said tell that bitch to shut the fuck up. You know, I, I don't have to deal with... Oh, listen to her. Dude, you can go fuck, you can go fuck yourself, dude. Good. I, well, you're the one that's going to lose your phone number, not me. So whatever. Let me go fuck I'm myself. Not I'm not losing nothing. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah, that... F- it was... Uh, you were outbid on it. Oh, God. I can't even talk to you now because that bitch is just... You need to, you need to slap her around. Are you fucking kidding? Get, are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm not kidding at all. She is super annoying. Like this really? Isn't real. Okay, good. It's not real. So uh, when people can't get a hold of you anymore, what is, what is your what is your name? For the third time, my name is Steve Dave. Steve Dave. Yeah. And if this isn't real, why don't you just hang up the fucking phone, Mike? Hey, he immediately hung up the phone. He didn't ask me to clarify my last name. He didn't question when Carol Gersperm's name was spelled IT. I I kind of like that guy. He sounds like that Donnie guy from the old Bob and Tom show. He was kind of like their Joe Dirt character. Holy shit, those are old references. Just forget I said any of that. Thanks for this one, Ocular Pat Down. I'm sorry I didn't do what you said. I was waiting. I I wanted him to really call me out. I mean, he did a billion times. And then I was going to say I was his neighbor. Should I call him back and let him know I'm his neighbor? I just looked up his Facebook. And he has like a normal looking living room. But there's two uh, deer heads on the wall. Just looking at you all the time while you're trying to watch TV. And it looks like he's a roofer. And hey, there's the girl with him that's probably the one that wouldn't shut up. He's got lots of pictures of him uh, holding up dead deer heads out in the woods in his hunting clothes. Ew, gross. Dead deer laying on the ground all bloody. What a cool Facebook. I'm so glad I looked this up. Hello? Hello, Mike? Hello? Hey, what happened? I I heard a hold music. Who's, who's, who's calling? Uh, this is Suzanne. I'm with the uh, Public Works Department. We, we, sent you, um, we sent you a letter about a month ago. You didn't respond to it. We're going to be digging a hole in your front yard on Monday morning. Um, Nobody here is digging a hole in any kind of front yard. Sir, no. I said we're, we're going to be digging a hole in your front yard. We're the Public Works Department. There's okay, going to be a, well, there's gonna be a team of eight eight men out there. With trucks, and uh, yeah, they're just gonna be uh, digging a hole by eight foot by eight foot. I'm I, I'm I'm not the I'm not the resident that was I, I I'm not the owner of the house. So you need to talk to them. I don't even know. Okay, what you're well, if you could just pass along the message, we tried to get a hold of them with the letter and it didn't work. So uh, just let what's them know the, what, what's, there's gonna be a the large address? a large hole dug in your front yard, right there in the front, kind of between the house and the street. For a while, what's the reason? Uh, it's for training purposes here in the public works department. Nobody's coming to my house and digging a hole in our front yard. Oh, no, we are, we are on Monday, sir. So uh, we'll be there Monday morning, probably between 8 uh, and 9. I, 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 I want to I talk to a supervisor here. Uh, this, is always, this is awfully suspect because we've been having trouble with police. Now you're telling me you're coming here and digging a hole in our yard? Yeah, but there, this is not a police matter. This is just the public works. We're just going to be uh, digging a hole. It's going to be about... Uh, no, you're not, you're not going to be digging any hole in our yard. Yes, we absolutely will be on Monday morning. No, yeah. Uh, it, um, I, I, want a, I, want a, I want a warrant or a piece of paper. We have not received that in the mail. Sir, the public works department does not issue warrants to dig a hole in someone's yard. Dude, you're, so- no, I, you're not coming into my yard and digging any kind of hole. Sir, we absolutely are coming into your yard with a bunch of trucks, and we're going to be blocking the whole thing off, and we're going to be digging a hole. It'll only take a week. We'll fill it back up when we're done. We'll You're pro- not coming to my house and digging a hole. We'll probably be done by next week, but, you know, by the following weekend. So just calm down. You're not doing anything with the yard out there. Just stay in your house and leave us alone while we dig our hole. You're not digging a hole in my yard. Okay, I'm going to write that down, that you said we're not digging a hole in your yard, and I will call you back in two weeks, and I will be like, ha ha, we actually did dig a hole in your yard, didn't we? You're not digging anything in my yard. Well, I'm not. I'm just the lady here in the office. 
but there will be a team of men there on Monday morning, and they're going to be digging a hole in your yard. No, they're not. Uh, let me check my records here. Yes, yes, they are. You're wrong. They are um, coming to dig a hole in your yard Monday morning. Who, who's your supervisor? I'd like to speak to them immediately. Okay, I can put Chris Tompkinson on the phone. Can you hold, please? Can you hold, please? While I get my supervisor, Chris Tompkinson. Hello? Did you hang up? Yes, you can. I can just hang up. Yes, and... you can. Okay, just a minute, please. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. Hello, this is Chris Tompkinson. Can I help you? Yes, um, you're getting a call saying you're digging a hole in my yard. With what proof? Uh, with what proof? Oh. Yeah, I want a number thir- uh, 13. Well, what proof do you have to do this? You're, I want a warrant. I want a piece of paper. You're a number 13. I'm sorry. You're talking gibberish, sir. Ah, he hung up. I was going to tell him I was his neighbor, but no, he just hangs up. He'll probably call me back because I did call from a number that I have in that area. So whatever. I'm done with this one. Thank you, Ocular Pad Down, once again for Mike's phone number. He's a fun guy. He doesn't even own his house, though. Tell your parents to complain to his landlord. That'll get him. Here's a number from Sean. He wants me to prank this guy named Ted, who owns a um, a pizza business, I think it was, or like a sub shop. He didn't give me the address of the business, but I looked it up. He wants me to tell them that I'm with the county police or other government agency. I can't say I'm the police because that's against the rules and that you need him to house homeless people in the parking lot slash plaza of his business. And they might need to come in for the water or the bathroom. This guy is an old man that overreacts to everything and worries about every little thing. He will be very funny, I promise. The idea of homeless people camping around his business will terrify him. He will freak. Okay, you're really building this up. If he doesn't freak, I'm going to be pissed off. Hello? No, hello, is this Ted? How can I help you? Oh, well, I was calling for Ted. I'm with the zoning department. Go ahead. Did, did, yes. I, did I reach Ted? Yes, you did. Oh, my gosh. That was exhausting. Um, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be having uh, homeless people stay in the parking lot outside of that business of yours. Uh, it, which business? On the, uh, the 50 highway. Uh, they're just, I don't own that. Sir. Listen here, buddy. They're just going to be staying in tents outside of your business. So you need to calm down. I don't own that. Sir, sir, don't don't pretend you don't own that station. I know it's yours. I did years ago. Looky here, buddy. There's going to be homeless people all over that park. <laughs> Damn it, Sean. He hung up and he doesn't even work there anymore. What, did you have a job there 10 years ago or something? And you just assume he's still there? Damn it, Sean. It's always something with you. Let's go on to the next thing. Here's a phone number change request from Grogu Fan 21 there's no explanation or story behind this one. It's just a name and a phone number, and he wants me to change it. Okay. Hello. Hello, James. Yes. Uh, this is Bob from Verizon Wireless. I was calling to let you know we're getting ready to change your phone number. It's one three six seven. So uh, I'm just calling to give you your new phone number before I complete the order. Uh. Why am I getting uh changing my phone number? Oh, uh, well, your phone number expired uh, last year, and someone outbid you on it this week. They outbid me? Yeah, yeah, they wanted your phone number, so they're paying a certain amount for the phone number, and it's it's going to be theirs. So uh, you, it won't be any cost to you. We're just going to give you a new phone number, and nothing will change for you except for your phone number. Uh, I can't do that. Uh, this is a business number, and that's what it's been... Or, uh, oh, it'll still be a business l- number. We'll, we'll have you set up as a business account and everything. It's just uh, it's going to be a different phone number. Uh, I can't have a different phone number. What, why? This, this number is tied to all my uh, all, all my stuff. Okay, well, it's like that's how, that's how it is for most people. Uh, you'll just have to tell everyone to call a new phone number. And uh, yeah, it, it, you'll, they'll still be able to get a hold of you. They'll just have to they have the new phone number. Uh, how, 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 
somebody outbid me for a number that this is my number, been my number for 25 years. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's just how the phone number system works these days. Uh, it's a celebrity. They want your phone number to use it in their act. And um, they just they chose your phone number because it spells a certain word. So, the, yeah, yeah, they're just going to take your phone number and you'll get a brand new one. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, that's how it works. Hey, that old man thwarted my phone number change by hanging up on me. Hello? Sir, I don't think you understand. Your number is changing. Do you want your new phone number or do you want to just figure it out on your own? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how you can sell my number without notifying me that my number is for sale. I am notifying you. That's what this phone call is about. The, the guy that got your phone number is actually Carrot Top, the world famous comedian, and your phone number spells his name. So he just wants to use it uh, for his tour that's coming up this summer. Uh, like I said, I can't, if, you know, my number is tied to everything that I do with the city and the health department and everything. Yeah, give them all your new phone number. It's just a new phone number, that's all. It's like a, a whole new beginning for you. Uh, you don't understand. My water license and everything is tied that way, and your, they won't change that. Your water license? I, yes. They're going to take uh, away you your... Don't, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yes. They, they, they require you to have certain things, and the state, the state won't let you change certain things. You have to have things that are only yours and... We'll just buy bottled water uh, from uh, Circle K or whatever. You know, just go, uh, go to the store and buy some bottled water. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Hey, hey! <laughs> what the hell's a water license, everybody? Maybe he's a farmer or something. But there you go, Grogu fan. I attempted to change Curtis's phone number. It did not go well. He thwarted me both times. Here's a number from Next Door Nick. He sent it in seven days ago. He wants me to call up these people in a HOA area and talk to them about their dick mailbox. And I don't know what next door Nick's obsession is with dick-shaped mailboxes. This does not look like a dick to me, but it's, it's just a brick mailbox that uh, has a rounded top on it. And he's sharing this mailbox with his next door neighbor. And none of the other neighbors in this neighborhood have dick-shaped mailboxes. They just have normal mailboxes. Oh wait, no, there is another set of neighbors down the street i just noticed they have a double dick mailbox also wow they even have the balls on it because uh, they planted flowers in the ball area roger's mailbox looks like a very small dick with no balls hello hello roger yes it's bob from the homeowners association is this in florida florida yeah which property is it oh the the homeowners association okay you're you're at the uh on the lane yes okay uh you're gonna need to get a new mailbox why it's it's enclosed i know it it looks like it's uh joined with your neighbors yeah yeah that's a bit phallic looking and they don't want it there anymore who doesn't want it well just the homeowners association in general they say it looks like a dick what kind of bullshit oh, is this? Yeah, what, I'm sorry. I'm selling the house. What's that? I'm selling the house. Okay, you might want to change that mailbox before you sell the house, because it looks like a dick. Trouble. Who, who's complaining about it? Uh, quite a few people, and after so many complaints, we just decided to have you change it. Cause, uh, I'm moving, and I'm, I'm mo- in fact, actually, I've already closed on my house. Well, we're going to expedite the... Uh, the violation fine then because uh you know you shouldn't be having a dick shaped mailbox there's kids in this neighborhood wait a second we bought the house like that we didn't do it ma'am you get off the phone i'm trying to talk to the other man i'm the homeowner well no you're just the wife so you get off the phone and you hush up hold it hold it hold it don't be rude to my wife she's part of this house too sir she would not hush up no you got rude Okay, well, you're the rude person having a dick mailbox in front of your house with kids running by and... With the kids running by? What are you talking about? Just change your mailbox, okay? I am not. 
Oh, I order oh. you. <laughs> Did you. Wow, that was a surprisingly good reaction to the whole dick mailbox thing. I'm sorry, Nick, that I didn't do that one sooner. Because you told me to do a lot of dick mailboxes. And I usually ignore that and do something else. Now I'm glad I did it. And I'll do it more often just for you, Nick. Here's another one from next door, Nick. It's a classic car show. And this guy is selling his classic truck. It's just an old Ford truck. He wants me to let him know that I don't want it. Okay. I'm going to do exactly what Nick says because he really came through with that dick mailbox suggestion. Hello. Hi, Jim. Hello. Hello, Jim. What do you want? I was calling about your 1978 Ford. What do you mean, what do I want? Is that how you talk to everybody? That calls everybody, and tries, yeah. <laughs> everyone calls and tries to buy your truck. You're just like, what do you want? That's about it. Well, what can I do for you? <laughs> uh, um, no, I'll be very nice to you. How's that? Okay, well, uh, I wasn't calling to actually buy it. Uh, I don't have a driver's license, and I don't have any need <laughs> for a truck, and I just don't want your truck. I'm calling to let you know that I'm not interested. Okay. All right. I'm never going to buy that truck from you. Okay, well, don't. Even if it's a good price and everything, you know? Yeah. Don't, I don't want it. Okay, well, it's a free country, bud. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm not going to buy it. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep, yep, don't want it. Like, um, if, if it, what, what price is it? Uh, what what are we asking for it? Yeah, that's what that means. Uh, you, eighteen. You, you stupid fucking idiot! Oh, eighteen. That's a good <laughs> price. Oh man, good it's, price. It's too bad that I have no uh, use for a truck, and nope. uh, I'm not going to buy your truck. Why in the hell did you call? I called to let you know that I'm not interested, sir. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, um... It's a free country, Whatever I get damn out it. of it doesn't go to me, it goes to a good cause. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Good to hear. So it's... it's you're not... Uh, you're not hurting me at all. Which cause is it? No, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just letting you know I'm not interested. Yeah. Well, the cause is... Uh, because you need the money? <laughs> no. No. Ugh. No, it's a very good cause. A friend of mine is an MD, a doctor... He only treats autistic children. Yeah. And he has a foundation, Stop Autism Now Foundation. Uh, he's in the trench. He's been in the trenches for for years, and he's he's turned around a lot of them. That's uh, good. Turn turn them around. Yeah. Made made them not autistic anymore. Well. It's, they're definitely very much improved. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's a very noble thing to do. Well, I think it is. Yeah. Um, well, it's too bad I don't need a truck. I just ride my <laughs> bike everywhere. Oh, okay. Well, do you have a motor on it? No, no. I I, uh, I like the exercise. Oh. Oh, God. You're an exercise freak. Oh, boy. Hey, I ain't no freak, motherfucker. <laughs> There you go. Hey, I hey. can't insult you, can I? No, don't do that. That's mean. I get my feelings hurt easily. Mm, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. No, hey. I wouldn't hurt your feelings or anything. I just thought, I just thought you were an adult. You could take a little fun. That's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hey, from now on, when you introduce yourself to people, can you call yourself Jim, like with the B on the end? Why? Just you know, just to switch it up a little bit. <laughs> Say, hey, my name's Jim. Yeah. 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 J I M B. That's your new name. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, you could uh, you could call the doctor. For what? You want. For what? Hmm. Why would I call the doctor? Well, if you're if you're at all interested in the truck, you don't have to do business with me. Okay. Well, no, yeah. I'm I'm not oh, interested in the truck. Go to him. I don't I don't even look like the look of the truck. Like if I think if I if I drove a car, I'd probably get something different. Okay. All right. Uh, I love you, Jim. Okay. I, I love you. Please say it back. Okay. Bye. Well, no, you gotta say it back. You're making it weird, Jim. I love you. <laughs> well, 
I, I don't. Uh, I'm not going to kiss you on the mouth or anything. I just wanted you to know I love you. Jim? Hello. Hello. I love you. I'm hanging up now. Okay. Bye. Bye. I love you. Man, that Jim, he's impossible. I was looking on this uh, paper, like they got a paper on the hood of this truck. And there's a guy named Marv on here, too. Jim is the owner. Marv is in sales. So let's see what Marv has to say about the truck. Maybe Marv is the one that works with autistic kids. Hello. Oh, hello. Is Marv around? This he speaking. Uh, what? This is he speaking. Oh, hey, Marv. I was I was calling about that truck, that uh tan, that tan truck. Oh yeah, the classic car that it's a uh, Ford. It's a Ford F one fifty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. It's a nice nice truck. Yeah, it is. It looks nice for maybe somebody else. I, I'm not really interested. I don't want it. Uh huh. Yeah. No, I'm just. Uh, it's not my kind of thing. I already got a car. Uh huh. I just. I don't want your truck. Uh huh. Oh, um, oh, I, I'm sorry. Um, uh, you must have been. Aunt, did I try to call you? Oh no, no, I'm calling you. Uh, I talked to Jim earlier, Jim. Oh, and, oh, did you? Uh, yeah, and I told him I don't want it either. Oh, okay. I, I'm so, just letting um, you both know I'm not interested. Oh, I, I understand. I, I, I was wondering how. Did somebody contact you? Oh no, nobody's contacted me. I just saw the oh, truck. Yeah. I saw it was for sale. Yeah, and uh, I thought I'd call you both and let you know that uh, I don't oh, need. Oh, so kind, so kind of you to do that. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. Uh, I, I have a car. My car is fine. I don't need to get another one yet. Okay. It still okay, runs. Well, it's nice. You're so thoughtful of you to do that. I appreciate your calling, and I wish you well and with a good, good summer. Oh, thank you so much. I wish you well too. Take care and God bless now. God bless you. I love thank you. Me. Oh, I love you too, yeah. Oh, right, thank but so does God. Thanks, bye, bye bye. Yeah, God, bye, bye, me God. and you, we're like a threesome. <laughs> there you go. All right, bye, I love you. Bye, thank you. Same here, bye. <laughs> Why has he got to bring God into our love? He's kind of making it weird there. I'm not sure I like that. But okay, Nick, those were pretty fun. Thank you for those phone numbers. I've got two more here from Nick. Oh, man, it's another truck. He wants me to say I don't want it. And this guy's name is Jap. J A A P. Hello. Hey, is Jap Brown? Yes, I think you have the wrong number. This is Naja. This is who? You have the wrong number. Sorry. Look, lady, put Jap on the phone right now and turn down that music. Oh, I see what he did. It's okay, Nick. It's not your fault. This guy is one of those assholes. That puts the little lines through his sevens. So you mistook a seven for a four. So now we've got him. And I don't see the name Jap on here. It is a Jeep. Wait a minute. <laughs> Why would you write Jap on here? Please leave your message for seven. Damn it. I can't get Jap to pick up. So I will save this one for later. This last one is a 1991 Corvette. And it's for sale. I don't want it. Hello? Hey, I was calling about your 1991 Corvette. Uh, nope, I ain't got a 91 Corvette. Bullshit, you don't. Why'd you write a sign on here that says for sale and, and stick it on a Corvette? I ain't got no Corvette. I got a, I got a, a 91 Cavalier. Is it red? Yep, 38,000 miles. I mean, with 15,000 okay, miles. Okay, well, miles. look, I don't know the difference between a Corvette and... And a Cavalier, my mom just called and said I needed to apologize. Because I was at that, that uh, festival car show thing. Yeah, in Traverse City, you mean? Yeah, yeah, and I peed on that car. I peed on your car. I peed all over the back bumper. No, nah, you're talking the wrong person here. No, no, it's, uh, it's the red one. Had the hood up on it. And it had your phone number. Because I took a picture... Yeah. I took a picture of it, and then I went, and I peed on it, and I peed on the handle, the door handle. Cool. Yeah, and I'm sorry. My mom said uh, I shouldn't have done that, and I'm very sorry I did that. 
Well, you have a good day. Okay. Well, do you accept my apology? Sure. Well, why are you being sarcastic about it? Don't be an asshole. I'm just trying to apologize. <laughs> yeah. No. No problem. Hey, can you tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up, please? Okay, well, you have yourself a good day. Hey, can you tell her that you don't take orders from annoying women and, you know, to, to just go walk away and don't tell you to hang up? I don't know if you guys get to hear her. She said to hang up on that last part. Damn it, Nick. You wrote Corvette on this one. It's a, what was it, a Corsair or something? Never been driven in the winter. Been stored in my heated garage. It's okay, Nick. I wouldn't have known what the fuck this car is either. And damn these car people not getting upset with me. Who do they think they are? Looks like we got a call coming in. I'm going to answer as Carol. Don't know who this is. Hello. Hi, is Dan there? What? Is Dan there? Is this the park? Yes, it is. Homeowners? Can I help you? Oh, Dan. Yeah. Oh, Dan's not here. Uh, this okay. is This is Carol's house. Okay. Um, I'm with the HOA. Okay. We just, uh, we're over on Amy Lane, uh-huh. and we just had a real nasty phone call from a Roy Deerbell. Do you know him? A Roy Deerbell? Roy Deerbell. Oh, oh, Roy. Uh, I think it's Zerbell. It's French. Yeah, he, he's, oh. on, he's on the HOA team over here. Well, he just, call, he just called a little bit ago and said that we have to tear down a brick mailbox because he's got complaints on it. Oh, are said, you the one with the dick-shaped mailbox? Yep. Oh, okay, so you admit it. Uh, yeah, that's going to need to come down. Can you just buy one of those cheap mailboxes from Lowe's? That'd be nicer. <laughs> Do you know how much money this brick mailbox? First of all, we're moving. We've sold the house already. Yeah, but it looks like a dick. It looks like a what? A dick. That mailbox in front of your house? It looks like a dick. It's not, that's not a good look for the neighborhood. There's other people with the same type of brick. Yeah, we're working on making them change, too. Oh, that's wrong. That is wrong. It's not your house. You can't yeah. do it. Hold on, hold sir, on. sir, can you tell that wife of yours just to shut the fuck up, please? Uh, you know what? You guys are really rude. Well, she, she was... She was uh, you guys are really rude. She was She's part of the house, too. She's a homeowner. So, you know what? We're done. They won't, sir. <laughs> I should have talked to that guy for a while before I went off on his wife. But really, she needs to learn not to shout in the background when he's on the phone. Who does that? Please hold while I try to connect you. Here's a number from Anime Girl. He wants me to call Brenda or her husband, Kevin. This idiot called my friend's job and asked basic questions about did they check their voicemail and they don't even know how to check the voicemail. So basically a bunch of dumb old farts. That makes complete sense. I understood every word of that. Let's see if they pick up. Hello? Hi, Kevin. Who? Is this not Kevin? No. Look, just put Brenda on the phone. Brenda who? Oh, you know who. Just just go get her. No, I don't. Look here, motherfucker. You get her right now and put her on the phone. I order you. I beg your pardon? Oh, you heard me. You get Brenda and you put her on that phone. And Brenda the, who? Brenda, the only Brenda that's there. And once you get her on the phone, you need to leave the room because I'm going to have a talk with her. About what? Well, that's none of your business. Yeah, it is. It's between me and Brenda. Well, you're acting like you don't even know, even know Brenda. I'm just trying to figure out what Brenda you're talking about. Well, how many Brendas live there? One. Who do you want to talk to? The one that's named what's Brenda. Brenda, Brenda who? What's, what's Brenda's last name? Listen here, you stupid motherfucker. You get Brenda on the phone right now. Uh, you better watch what you're talking to. You dumb old fart. Just get Brenda. She's not here. Oh, suddenly she's not there, but you know who she is. No, I don't. I don't even know what Brenda you're talking about. It sounds like you need to go get Brenda and put her on the line, you douche canoe. I can't do that. Why? Because you're a douche canoe? I'm not going to steal her from you. I'm not going to steal her from you. It's nothing like that. Are you Kevin? 
Yeah, why? Uh, Kevin who? Huh? You heard me. Look, go get Brenda. Put her on the phone. Stop fucking around, asshole. I'm sorry. But why, Brenda passed away. Why are you sorry? I'm I'm just I have business to do with Brenda. So stop pretending she passed away or that she's not there or that you don't know her. I don't even know you. I don't want to know you because you're a weird, paranoid old man that won't even tell me his name. Take a hike, bitch. I ain't going to hike nowhere. (laughs) I hope she wasn't really dead. I don't think she was dead. That guy was full of shit. He didn't know who Brenda or Kevin was. What the hell, anime girl 304? Did you already send that one to Dwight? So he's all suspicious now. Here's a submission from someone who didn't enter a name. They want me to prank call Christy. She has a five acre farm and has residents there. There's an RV in the back that is abandoned. I would say that her tenants rented the RV to you without letting her know about it. And they're making money under the table. The residents are Margo and Herbert. And there's a bunch more. I don't feel like reading anymore. I'm just going to call this. Hello. Hey, Christy. Who is this? Uh, this is your new tenant. This this is Roy. Uh, I live in the RV in the back, the one that's kind of abandoned. Hello. Yes. Oh, hey. Uh, you know the toilet doesn't work in here, so I just want to make sure I can dig a hole, uh, right next to where the camper is, and uh, we're just gonna dump the poop and stuff in there. We're gonna, Who is this? We're going to dig a large hole. This is Roy. I'm your new tenant. I don't know who you are. Oh, uh, I'm renting from uh, Margo and Herbert. And they're, they're just kind of doing an under the table thing for me because I have a record. And I just wanted to ask if I can dig a hole next to the RV. No, you cannot. Why? It's in the back. Like you won't see it. But I need a place to put the poop. And the waste, I mean. I'm sorry. Damn it, Christy. She just hung up. Please leave your message for 7-0. And now she won't pick back up. I've called a few times. So I guess that's the end of that one. Okay. Thank you, anonymous person. Here's one that's a for rent sign in somebody's yard from the sign guy. But he doesn't tell me the address. He should tell me the address so I can say I live there and tell him about my crazy tenant problem. I want to try and do that anyway. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Yes, hi. Hey, I'm a tenant over here in the East Campus neighborhood. Oh, cool. Yeah, and um, I'm trying to flush dandelions down the toilet, and they stopped, they've stopped going down. So what, what address are you at? Uh, it's on Columbia. Columbia? Well, in Columbia. That's- yeah, what's your address? Well, I, Where I, do you live? Well, it's just this brick house, you know, it's like in the East Campus. Can um, do you have any advice on like I tried the plunger? And well, I've, I need to know where you're where you're renting. What is the address of the house eh, that you I, are renting? I don't, don't want to get my roommates in trouble because we put down dandelions all over the floors. We just wanted to make it more outside, like here in the house. But you know, we gotta. We gotta pull the dandelions every once in a while. Pull them up out of the ground. Right. Because we we got we planted dandelions inside the house. Wow. Yeah, but. Uh, what, what address are you at? I'm not gonna flush them anymore, though. Where Where are you yeah, at? I don't even know where. I hear you walking all over the place. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing showing. See, I don't even know if you're my tenant or not. Oh, I no. don't know who you are. I am. I'm a tenant. Like how else would I Where have your are number? You? What what address do you live in? I I don't want to say because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. Oh, okay. But it's just you know we got okay. these. I I put a lot yeah, of dandelions. You might go out to Home Depot and buy an auger or you know uh, something to push on the toilet. It sounds like you clogged the drain. Yeah, yeah. I try to flush it. Yeah. And it just uh, like yeah, here. Not oh. everything will go. You know. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah, it's it's I'm flushing it, but it's getting ready to come back up. Oh no, here it comes. it's coming back. Yeah, this yeah, one all over. Man, the... you got a problem. Let me try. Yeah, one. Let me try it again. 
It's really just uh, toilets are just made for human waste and toilet paper. Whoa, this is biological. Oh, yeah. it's overflowing again all over the floor. Oh, yeah. boy. Uh, Man, let, let yeah, me, let I me, hope there's nobody living below you because oh, there, all the water goes goes downstairs the, and there you know, is, the ceiling. Can, there is, but we have a lot of dandelions all over the floor, so I think those are going to absorb most of the water. Because as, I, yeah. as okay. you know, dandy, well, dandelions are very good for absor- yeah. absorption of water. It sounds like, like you got it under control, so okay. I'll talk to you later. Should I just keep, good luck. I'll just keep flushing then? I don't know. I don't know if it's overflowing. I wouldn't cause any more water to go on the floor yeah, because you know, even though you think it's going to s- absorb it, once you get the water draining through to the ceiling below, man, you're talking some expense. But I've got dandelions so, all over the floor to absorb the water. I don't think dandelions, they don't absorb the water. Oh, no, they do. I read it on dandelionfacts.com. Okay. Well, that's why I say it sounds like you've got it under control, but okay. I hope your friends gonna, aren't uh, too, you know, don't get too screwed by you flushing water all over the floor. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just, well, that's, good luck to that's you. the dandelion's fault. I'm going to keep flushing. I'm going to keep flushing yeah. for the next hour. Eventually they'll go down, right? Yeah. I don't know. And then I, I don't can, know. And then you're, I can, the, you're the one there in control. The, the, I don't know. <laughs> then I can flush the rest of the dandelions down. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't flush any more dandelions down. You're seeing how much uh, trouble you're having with just a few dandelions. I going know. Down. Oh no, I flushed a lot of dandelions down the toilet, like so many. You know, you ought to just, just sweep up the dandelions and put them in a handy ba- dandy bag. Well, then I got to bend. Throw them in the trash. Then I got to bend over a lot, and I, I have a bad back. Gotcha. I understand. So well, it sounds like you got a big pocketbook because <laughs> the expense that you're causing down there is going to yeah, be bad. I don't think but it's anyway, much your, of an ex- your friends are going to be your friends are oh. going to be paying for it. Oh, so it just it went all over I the floor. I worry about it. It, it just I went understand. all over the floor, sir. It just went all Take over. Take your the floor. shoes off because your shoes are going to get soggy. Oh, I don't have shoes on. I just have Go. socks on, and they are squishy. Like when you I walk. Like that. They're, they're just hey good luck to you okay good luck to you who are you showing a place I, to what which place are you I showing no you don't know yeah, they think you're a little whacked out that's <laughs> hey why you tell the why you tell those potential tenants to go fuck themselves i got gotcha. you let, let me talk that's to them let me doing. talk that's what they're doing let me talk to those motherfuckers real quick oh okay i guess not the sign guy did write that it was in the east campus neighborhood and it says on columbia but I think he means in Columbia. That was a very patient old man. Hey, you, you hang up that phone. Who are you? Oh, what don't do you, you worry about it. You just hang up that damn phone, lady. <laughs> what do you people want? I don't want anything. I want you to hang up the phone. Then why are you calling me? I, you, call, you just called me, you idiot. We didn't say call back. We said hang up the damn phone. No, I hang it. Oh, you better hang it up. I ain't going to. Well, if you don't, you know what? What? I'm going to ask you to hang it up again. (laughs) You stupid motherfucker. (laughs) You're funny. Oh, you're funny. (laughs) What's wrong with you? Why don't you turn off your damn TV when you call people? You know how loud that is to me? That's my radio. That's my local news. Okay, well, it still sucks. Turn it off when you make a call. <laughs> quit calling me. I don't even know uh, who you people what do you, are. What do you mean, what? quit calling you? I called you one time. Or, uh, or my people. wife, my wife Carol called you and asked you to hang up, and you were nice, and you hung up, and now here you are calling back. Okay, Carol. Thank you. That'll help a little. You're welcome. Have a good- God bless. Hey, you better hang up that phone. <laughs> okay, she hung up. That was from a call I did earlier as Carol, and I asked her to hang up the phone, and she just thought I was really funny. I think that was one from maybe Anime Girl, but the call was boring, so I deleted it, and now here she is calling me back, making me yell at her to hang up again. Hello? Carl! Hello? Who is that? Hey, Carl, you son of a bitch. Why don't you hang up that... Who are you? Who are you? Hang up, that, you? Hang up that phone, Carl. Now, now, who are you? I'm sick of your shit. You just hang that phone right up. Uh, I don't want to talk to you, Carl. You hang up that phone. Uh, you know-
What? You're cutting out. Carl! Did you hang up the phone? Man, that guy sounded awesome, but then he just kind of stopped talking. I'm going to try him right back. Your call has been forwarded to an auto... Now he won't pick back up. Here, let me try from a different phone number. I'll try from AT&T. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message nope. system. Five. He's done with me. That was another number of anime girls. And she said, all I know is I think he's a cranky old veteran that called my friend's job, was asking the most dumbest questions about unpaid electricity bills for more than five years, and has a friend that's been living... Oh yeah, it just goes on and on. I just thought I'd tell him to hang up the damn phone, but now he won't pick back up. Your call has been forwarded to... Yeah, he just keeps hitting the FU button, no matter what number I call from. I am going to save that one, though. I'll try to put a little more effort into it next time I call him. He was really yelling at me until he just disappeared. Hey, guess what, everybody? I'm finished. I'm going to stop doing calls now, and we're going to listen to some voicemails, because that's the way this show works. Cisco Kids, Cactus Corner. Play those voicemails. Snowplow Show, we put the tingle in the downstairs. Hi, Brad. Or I don't know if Carol's going to hear this. Don't no. just call me to say hi. I don't want Carol listening to the voicemails. I listen to your show. I She's a woman. I like it very much. Thanks. And you are awesome. You make me laugh. And you bring joy to my life. Why, well, thank and to you. to many people. I don't want to take a lot of your time. I've been listening for years now. Yes, I didn't subscribe to all of the fucking paying crap. Who can blame you? I listen and I like your videos on YouTube. Thanks. And you're awesome. Okay, bye. He says, mm, what? That's all that matters. As long as you're listening, you don't have to do all that paid crap. This is Jonah from The Kiss in New York. How you doing? Great. I love your show. Thanks. Just keep doing what you're doing, Brad. I hope everything is well. It's all right. Episode 614. Uh, old episode 614. You need to prank call my coworker Dan again. No. Remember that episode? You tried to change his phone number. I do not. Why would I remember and Carol that? Carol had to get his phone number back. Why so would I remember you get a that? Chance, you need, I want you to prank call Dan again. No. All right, Brad. I refuse. I hope everything is well. And Brad, what happened to Stacy? I will never do it. All right. Have a blessed day, Brad. Stacy's doing her own thing. She's on Twitter. Go find her on Twitter. She came back a few years ago. We did prank calls. It was fun. So go find that show, wherever it is. Hey, Brad. This is Eric from Michigan. Hello. I just wanted to let you know I was listening to the Wasted Memory show, the most recent one from uh, the 27th of June, and heard you on there and heard uh, all the problems they had with the mumble sounding like shit. Oh, yeah. Um, made me miss listening to your show where there are no technical difficulties. Oh, come on. So, Sure there are. Have a good day. I've had lots of technical difficulties. And the mumble usually works fine. I don't know why they're having problems. But yeah, I guess I was on the Wasted show on the most, the second to most recent one. I forget what date he said. But go find Wasted show on rogueserver.com. Or is that just for live stuff? I don't know. He has more domains than I do. Hey, Brad. It's Patrick. Hello. From Illinois. I just had a chance to wrap up Hobosode number 409. Yay. Holy cow. That butcher guy. See, if you don't listen to the hobo soaps, guys, you're missing out on some really clutch stuff. Yeah. What a maniac. Like, actually having a show last week. I did two hobo soaps. He could have heard both of those if you supported the show. I was a butcher for 50 years. I'm going to kill your dog, but, you know, I'm oh, not yeah. going to eat the meat because that definitely crosses a line. I'm not, like, a complete lunatic. Uh, but, yeah, that was a, a great episode, Brad. Love the hobo soaps. Thanks. Hope you're having a good week. Make good choices. It's an okay Bye. week. It just started. Yeah, I had a couple crazy ones on the hobo sods last week. I need to start putting more of those on YouTube. This is Sean from Hamilton, Ohio. Hey, Sean. My boss. His name is Ted. And he's the owner of a restaurant. What are you doing? His phone number is 513. Yeah, stop it. You don't sit. Oh, oh, it's, it's that Ted guy. I pranked him earlier today on the show. Yeah, Sean, you big dummy. He doesn't even work there anymore. He's the one I was trying to do homeless tents for. And I like that idea, by the way. I want to try that at another shopping center, I think. Or some, uh, you know, independent type businesses where they would actually care. I want to get an irate store manager or owner on the line and tell them we're going to fill up their parking lot with homeless people and homeless services. 
And what can they do about it? But yeah, Sean, what the hell? Don't leave prank requests on the voicemail. That's not how it works. Oh, look, you left another one for the same prank request on the voicemail. Hey, Roy. My name's John, and I'm calling from Cincinnati, Ohio. Why, hello, John. I see that you're on... You play GTA 5 online. I do. And uh, just wanted to see if you wanted to have a 1v1. I think I could take you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you probably could with shooting. I suck at shooting. You're just going to have to find me on there and kill me a bunch, I guess. Hey, Brad. It's next door, Nick. Hey. Um, Some some mysteries that I've been trying to solve for years now. What exactly is the... Or if you or anybody else know, what exactly is the name of that Russian kids song that uh that Party Time made it made oh, it, yeah, uh, yeah. intro based off of, and then Rappy made a remix based off of? I have no idea. I have no idea what what the heck that oh, is. Because it's a weird Russian name. It's a kids show. It's uh I don't know what this stands for. It's it's a bunch of letters. Maybe it means something in Russian, but it's A B V G D E Y K A. Type those letters into YouTube and along with the word intro and you will see the original show that that's from. It's like some kids show in Russia and if you watch it, it is bizarre. I watched a bunch of clips from that a couple years ago and it is weird shit. So quick, type this into YouTube. A B V G D E Y K A and see what comes up and that should answer all of your questions. And in case any of you are wondering, here's the song he's talking about. Good old Rappy McRapperson, he sure knows how to make a comedy song about child labor in other countries. LOL. Hey, Roy. This is Trump Alert. Hey. I just got uh, finished listening to your Hobo Code 404, and I have to say that I was scream laughing uh, at the guy who had $5,000 cash for his very unusual circumstance where his son needed to buy a used car. Oh, yeah. And he started to... That was weird. Explain the unusual circumstance, and you just hit him with a, oh, God, I don't care. Bye. Bang the phone down on him. That shit was hilarious. Take that, old man. I love it. Keep up the good work. Bye. Old man story mode. See you guys. If you supported the show at patreon.com slash phone losers, you could hear the call where the guy tried to buy his son a car. It was so funny. Actually, I can't remember much about that prank, but that guy apparently really liked it. Brad! Duh! Hunch Point Hooker, Bronx, New York. Hey. I want to say thank you for the record. I got it in Yay. the mail this weekend. So now I got to get a... What the hell they called? Record player, Brad. I got to oh, get a... Yeah. We need to send a record player. Yeah. Uh, hey, Brad, did you hear uh, King Richard's new show? Came out the same weekend I got my record. Holy and I crap. heard Olga. Hey, Brad. What? I have a joke for you. Shut up. Sorry, I shouldn't tell you to shut up, but... You're making me anxious. Yeah, there's a brand new King Richard show out, apparently. I have not heard it yet. I didn't think it was out yet. I just saw that there was like a advertisement that a brand new one is coming out. But yeah, I see a new one here. Another prank call show dot com. I should have mentioned that on the beginning of the show. I'm going to do that next time. Okay, last voicemail. Hey, Brad, it's Cody. Um, uh, First off, I'm very excited. I got my uh, vinyl. I wasn't expecting that. It surprised me. Yay. But, um... Unfortunately, King Richard and I are filing a class action lawsuit against you because there is no water in the package at all. We've tried searching for the free oh. water. It says free water all over the package, but there's no free water. I'm so sorry. I'm very upset, and King Richard and I will be in contact with our lawyers. See it. Good luck. See it, see it, see it. So if you want to join King Richard's class action lawsuit, head on over to anotherprankcallshow.com. Looks like he's got a lawsuit form on there. And that should explain everything. So thanks for listening to the show today, everybody. Thanks for leaving all those voicemails. Thank you to the Prime Minister of Australia, Matt Chu, Bad Lad, Cody No Name, and Fun Society Arcade for supporting today's show and getting to hear actual shows last week. Here's some brand new MC Lars. I'm stealing this off of his Patreon once again without his permission, and there's nothing he can do about it. (laughs) Wow, Motel. Yeah, this is Luther. Clown Motel. 
I need three rooms for three days. Start when? Start now. Long on Potion Castle, a prankster in disguise, master of surreal humor. He's got no compromise. Born in 72, his identity unknown. Colorado, LA, Seattle, look how far he's grown. Experimental musician, his art is one of a kind. Thrash metal sound collage is a huge creative mind. He records prank calls, a style so absurd. Not me spirited, but leaves his target. Gets quite perturbed, so anonymous he keeps it on lock. Absurdist art, his phone work, a purple shock. His album self release, gaining cult acclaim. Musicians and fans alike, well, they all know his name from Columbine High School. His journey began recording prank call albums, a very bold plan. Not like the jerky boys or that crank anchor's flavor, kinda like Neil Hamburger, a comedic savior. What LPC is calling fools up. I'm straight up busting, disrupting with his voice filters, always up to something. The Colorado prankster king, underground cessation. Longmont in the building, I'm just saying. LBC is calling fools up. I'm straight up busting, disrupting with his voice filters, always up to something. The Colorado prankster king, underground cessation. Longmont in the building, I'm just saying. Effects enhancing, confusing targets, leaving them vexed Mind dancing, complaints about noise, money requests and more His calls blend chaos and surreal